16 to 13 Cleague Street in Rivervale. Uh, just be nice to tidy up this complex of units, okay. Uh, as you can see, lawns have not been mowed, full of clover. Uh, what we've got to do here is you've got to mow it and then we've got to spray it to kill all the clover, ox or oxalis there. Um, so it's not going to look too pretty the first time, but the second time it should look okay. We'll mow it, rake it up best we can and spray it, but it's still going to look very rough the first time. Moving on to the flower beds. Uh, we can hand weed these. As you can see, there's quite a lot to do here. It's going to take us a few hours to hand weed all this. Um, so this is going to take a while, just on your hands and knees. You can see that the Dianellas and kangaroo paws, oh, there's some, uh, well, that's a pepper tree shooting up. That's a gum tree. Going to have to get rid of them. You can see that the Dianellas and kangaroo paws and whatever else plate been planted in it aren't looking too flash. So we'll try and pull out as many of the dead leaves we can, tidy them up. This all has to be done by, you can see that one's just about dead. This all has to be done by hand, very labor intensive. Nobody likes to get on their hands and knees and weeding. Um, so it will be on the expensive side. I can't just hit this with a snipper. Um, it just tear it all up and it'll look terrible. So it has to be done by hand and my price will reflect that. Coming along again, there's more that can be done by hand. You can see this hasn't been edged for a while. And uh, out the front here, say so again, it's, it's a mess, but it can be hand weeded. Here we have leaves, so we'll have to rake all them up and remove them as well as the dead fronds until we get to the driveway. Now, here, I don't think hand weeding is a smart or a wise option. There's no mulch or anything here. Anything that was here has been destroyed or just gone over the ages. So here I think we, what we can do is pull out this uh, whipper snippet. And you can see that these Dianellas and stuff that just dead. I mean, this one's got like, this one prob maybe, maybe worth saving, but these two, nah, just gonna have to run the snipper straight over them. There's, there's nothing to be gained by sorting that out. And it's the same all the way down. We've also got rubbish. We've got a, um, whatever the hell this was, I think it was a CD holder at one point. And over there we have a bed frame. So you're gonna have to take care of that. The other thing is all these bushes coming over the fence from next door. Uh, I think the you should just prune them back. Uh, they're never gonna get done by next door. Um, actually, I know next door. I can speak to their agent. I do next door, I know who manages that. Um, I can talk to their, them and uh, see if I can get them to, to to agree to me pruning it back. Uh, coming down the end here, we've got more weeds and uh, rubbish. This is the big thing though, all these leaves and stuff down here, this whole pile needs to be removed, it's pretty disgusting. And in fact, what I would do is I would remove these two lower branches here just so it's not hitting people's cars as they drive in and out and just open it up and stop all the leaves falling or some of the leaves falling on the property. Okay. 